Ever wonder why powered parachutes don't fly the same patterns as airplanes? It's not just about speed, it's actually in the FAA rules. Let's break it down. Did you know powered parachutes have something in common with helicopters when it comes to FAA rules? It shows up in part 91, the general operating and flight rules. Check out section 91.126. Operation on or in the vicinity of an airport in Clash G airspace. Paragraph B lays it out. If you're flying an airplane, you're supposed to make left turns. Unless the airport says otherwise with lights or markings. But here's the twist. If you're flying a helicopter or a powered parachute, you're not locked into that left-hand pattern. Instead, you've got one job. Stay out of the flow of fixed-wing traffic. So what does that look like? Most of the time, it means flying a right-hand pattern opposite of where the airplanes are. And often, it also means flying lower. While airplanes stick to about 1,000 feet above ground level, powered parachutes usually hang out around 500 feet AGL or even lower. Why? Because powered parachutes and helicopters are slower and the goal is simple. Keep the traffic pattern safe for everyone. Oh, and quick heads up. These turn direction rules don't control who has priority on runways. That's a whole different set of regulations. Bottom line, different aircraft, different speeds, but one mission, fly safe together. So whether you're flying a powered parachute, a helicopter, or an airplane, know the rules, fly smart, and keep the pattern safe for everyone.